Hello, my name is Ross Collins. This year, my book, Robert Rumpus, has been shortlisted for the Scottish Children's Book Awards, and I'd like to read it for you now. My mum and dad are busy, so just last night they said, we decided to buy these fantastic robots to get you into bed. I thought they must be joking, but dad switched the robots on. Mum said, they're the latest models. What could possibly go wrong? Then Coopbot made spaghetti. I ate the lot off my plate. Cleanbot did the washing up. Everything seemed just great. Washbot ran a bath. It said, you will be spick and span. I got my bath toys down off the shelf. But that's when the rumpus began. Crocodile is my favourite toy. His teeth can really snap. But soon as Washbot spotted him, it got in a bit of a flap. It said, dangerous animal in the water. Three warning lights flashed red. Then it went and slipped into Dressbot, who sat down on Teethbot's head. Dressbot turned round and round, like it didn't know what to do, and Teethbot started brushing his head and squirting toothpaste down the loo. Cleanbot was whizzing about. It was trying to keep things tidy. But Dressbot started putting pyjamas on the robot that had to dry me. Cookbot came in and stared, and its warning lights flashed too. Then it nodded and zoomed away, like it knew just what to do. I hoped it could sort out the mess. This was getting beyond a laugh. But all it did was cook more spaghetti and tip it into the bath. I know that robots can cry, but Cleanbot looked close to tears. Bookbot sat with a book in the bed and smoke coming out of its ears. And Drybot couldn't manage to get my pyjamas off its head. So in the end, I left them and got myself into bed. I think the robots were exhausted. They crashed around some more. Then everything went quiet until my parents walked in the door. Ah! The place was a bit of a mess. It hadn't worked quite like they'd said. And I don't think they got a good night's sleep with seven robots in their bed. Cleanbot thought there was a crocodile in the bath. Teethbot brushed his own head. Dressbot tried to dress the other robot. And Cookbot thought he could solve everything by tipping spaghetti into the bath. These are clearly not the droids we're looking for. I'll bet you could do better. Why not have a go at designing your own robots?